folks, TJ here. Maybe a little house cleaning today. Make a video on house cleaning. Not the house cleaning that you think it should be. Uh, behind this camera, <laughs> this office is a pigsty. I will admit it. Behind it, it's pretty nice back here. But around the perimeter that you can't see in the camera, it's it's got a lot of work that needs to be done. But I've got a whole summer to do that. And I thought uh, today I would just make kind of a uh, YouTube channel uh, video update, uh, what I'm working on right now, so everybody can kind of stay abreast of the action that's going on here at headquarters, TJ. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm just a dude on the freaking internet. You ever watch some channels and it's like, oh, I'm at my headquarters, and it's just like a home office or whatever. It's cool that they're totally into whatever they're doing, but... Uh, yeah, it just most of us are just dudes or dudettes at home doing our thing. Anyway, where was I? So uh, let's start with a update on my physical edition of the game because some folks have been asking as of late what's going on uh, because I've been shipping. Uh, as everything is kind of falling into place, I kind of said from the get-go, I hope to start shipping in May which is what I did, and it will just continue on until I get them all done. Now, this is a one-man operation. Headquarters today, uh, TJ doesn't have hundreds of people working for him. He uh, does everything himself, uh, and if you are aware, I make a personalized video for each and every one of these 50 that are shipping. That takes a lot of time, <laughs> way more than I knew it would take a lot of time, but I wanted to make this whole thing special. So uh, I've, to date, there's 54 copies of this that I'm making, not made, but making. And to date, I've shipped 21. Is it 21 that I've shipped? Yeah, 16 US, two tests to the UK that I did about a week and a half, two weeks ago. Those tests went well. So I just shipped three more this last Saturday, two to the UK and one to Czechoslovakia, I think it was. Uh, Czech Republic. Is Czechoslovakia the same as Czech Republic? I'm terrible with country. I barely know my own. Uh, anyway, and, and it's funny, at the U.S. Postal Service, it doesn't go under the Republic of Czechoslovakia or Czechoslovakia or uh, whatever. It, it was under Ch Chesnia? C-E-Z-N-I something. Because even the postal person said, that's not in here. Czech Republic of Czechoslovakia is not in here. I'm all, it's got to be. And we finally figured out it's the same word for, well, different word for the same thing. Anyway, it's, and countries, they name themselves, they change. Oh, this week I'm going to be this. Uh, anyway, I've shipped 21 copies, 16 to the United States. Now four to the UK. Two have already been received. What's nice is my original, hey, it's going to cost 20 bucks to send to the UK. I'm being shown on their website. There's no tracking, no insurance. The nice little slap in the giddy up, and my friend Jeff uh, or Eric Lamb said, hey, TJ, you know, I think they do give you a tracking number because uh, I've sent stuff to Japan and I was able to track it. So little did I know that, yes, they are giving a tracking number for each shipment. No insurance, though. There's no option to add insurance unless you want to pay triple the price to go express mail or something, which, no, we're not doing. So, But at least there's tracking, which is cool because I tracked all the way from United States, and it showed every step of the way to get to the final destination. So it's cool. It kind of helps at least people know that I shipped it. It's in their postal service's hands. So I did my part, and hopefully everything works out. Two arrived perfectly fine. Took about a week. Uh, I sent uh, on a Friday, one person got theirs on a Thursday, and the other one received it on a Saturday. So about a week from the United States to the UK so far. On Saturday, I just shipped two more to the UK. We'll see how those go. And I also sent one to the uh, Republic of Czechoslovakia. So we'll see how long that one takes. I have no idea. Every country is different. Uh, hopefully it works. Because the second I run into a snafu, I'm going to be a little uh, bent out of shape. It's kind of like, oh... Because recreating these things is going to be difficult. So I'm hoping nothing gets lost in the mix. Everything works out. Anyway, so I've shipped 21 to date, which means I have about 29 more to go. Do I have all 29 videos made? No. <laughs> what do you think? I'm a machine? Uh, 
probably some people wish I was. It's like, hey, I want my game. Uh, but no, I, I, I do this on the fly. I'm a busy person. I work for a living. I got to work every day. And then I find time to make videos about my hobbies, video game plays, uh, making uh, this, making that, making video games. So it's all what I can do at any given moment. So what I'm trying to do is every week I'm going to try to make three to five physical editions, get ready to ship, and then alert people, hey, okay, I've got your video done, I'm working on your hard copy, do you still want to get it? And then I collect the funds, and then I mail out and let them know it's on its way, and then we see how everything goes. So 29 more to go. When does that mean? I'm For surely all through the rest of June and in through July, I think, because you know, I've got 29 to go. You can kind of see if I do, say if I'm really good, I do five a week. You can kind of do the math. Yeah, I basically, uh, hopefully by the end of July, I'm done with all this. And I can say, okay, it was a success. Everything got to people on time. I'm happy, hunky-dory. Now, don't hold me to the end of July being done, but I think that's my goal right now. I'm going to get a whole shitload done in June. July comes. Uh, hopefully, I can get everybody's out and then kind of sit back and go, was this worth it? Was this fun? And so far, yes, it still is. Uh, but i got to say, the international ones are a pain in the ass. <laughs> I've got to fill out an international form for each and every one, which means your fingers start getting a little cramped after writing so many things. And you've got to put the value, and you've got to do all these things. And then you go to the post office, and they enter each and every one address and everything. So you can imagine if I bring in five, that counter clerk's got to enter five addresses, and they're all oddball. You know, they're in the United States. So when you see, for example, you know, one of these persons in the UK, it's like their name, then a farm, then a, a what? I don't know. There's three other things. Farmington, Northshire, Umpra, uh, Techno, Gravel, all these words. And it's like, what word goes where? What's the city? What's the state? What's a prefecture if you're in Japan? It's like all this stuff. And then there's a number. Number normally means a zip code. And then there's UK. And then in the UK, you've got Scotland and Ireland. Yeah, it gets very confusing. So I'm sure these clerks have no clue on what it is. I'm filling in the forms. I'm actually emailing a picture to the person saying, hey, does this look good? Does it look kind of accurate? Because uh, we're sending it. And they say, yeah, it looks good. And then we send it and we go. So I've got a lot more to do. But I'm hoping by the end of July, basically I'm kind of forecasting out. By the end of July, hopefully everybody's done. Everybody's shipped. Everybody's, I won't say got them yet because... There could be some countries that take weeks. I don't know. But to the United Kingdom, it took a, about a week, which I'm very impressed with. So not too bad. So that's where I am right now. I've shipped 21. I am now plucked out five more names that I'm going to work on in the next week, making the videos. I've got to make the videos, convert the videos to vid format. There's a lot of stuff. Then make the SD cards. Then put all the, the kits together. This is all just done as I have time. So... That's the update on Invasion of the Cloud People, The Next Storm. I'll be working on five more. I won't say the names, uh, but soon you may be getting an email from TJ saying, okay, I've done your video. I'm ready to collect. Are you still ready to do it? And then we'll go from there. So look forward to those emails. And if your name's not chosen, it's not because I don't like you. It's just what I'm going by a spreadsheet. So uh, whatever ones pop out at me, I do. I'm trying to just go in a chronological order as they came in. So that's that. Invasion of the Cloud People, the next door physical edition. That's what's taking up most of my time. Uh, so if you want to see videos on me doing Atari or Amiga 1X5000 or Sinclair or Timex or Auric Atmos or uh, Aquarius which is next, by the way. Uh, yeah, I do what I do when I can. <laughs> and at this point, there's no rhyme or reason. It's just whatever. I'll turn around and I'll go, this is what I'm making a video on today. So uh, sometimes there may be months go by where I don't do something on a particular platform and then all of a sudden I'll get a bug up my ass and I'll do it. So thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, but my channel is just kind of me winging it, having fun. And so hopefully I do enough to keep you occupied, even if it's not a flavor of your choice for a video, hopefully you will still enjoy me just yapping about things and, and covering things that are at least of an older generation, 8-bit, retro, gaming, video, stuff like that. And then once in a while, I'll throw in Apple stuff. I love Apple. Uh, and I've got my video editing station really doing pretty well now. I've got that all dialed in. 
and I make some videos once in a while on my Volkswagen stuff and uh, fly fishing. Tin car, to be specific. Okay, what's next? I want to give some thank yous. Uh, I've got... Uh, I don't... In every video, you'll see some real YouTubers go, okay, make sure to uh, subscribe, uh, like, uh, hit the little bell icon. I think I've only said that like once or twice in my whole time. I, I'm just not into those housekeeping things. I just hope that if people enjoy what I do, they subscribe, and, and then the like, and then the little bell icon. It's like, you know, people got lives. Uh, they don't probably want to be reminded of every video that pops up, but supposedly you got to click the bell. Otherwise, if you don't click the bell, you don't get a reminder that I put a video up. And that could be a good thing for some people because they're busy. They just want to get on the YouTubes when they want and not be bugged. And if they see a video, they'll watch it. But whatever it is, if you do enjoy what I do, yes, subscribe, uh, like the videos. Uh, hopefully you like what I do and hit the little bell icon and all that fun stuff. But what uh, I really have to say a big thank you to is I've got a Patreon and YouTube memberships. So I once in a great while will kind of cover this. Yes, it does help my channel. Uh, I get a, a few dollars from people that enjoy what I do. And pretty much between Patreon and YouTube and the AdSense that I get from it. Because I don't have any uh, companies supporting me. I don't have any of that. But between the Patreon and the YouTube uh, AdSense stuff, it pays for the internet that's helping me upload videos to you all to watch. Without that, uh, if I didn't have YouTube, I'd probably seriously... Uh, go back to probably a slow-ass internet just to have enough for the house because that's it. Uh, videos take a lot of uh, data, take a lot of speed, and without the current internet I have, I've only got two options, either reverse or fast. <laughs> that's it. There's nothing in the middle. I live in the mountains of California. So up in, for the last 20-some-odd years, I was on satellite internet, HughesNet. Oh, it's horrid. It's so bad. It's dial-up. Literally, they say it's faster, but I literally clocked 26K download speeds after you use your limited amount of real data, which is one day. Uh, truthfully, it, one day most people go through, or a few days, what allotment they give you. And then after that, they slow your ass down. And that slow your ass down should be up to a certain limitation. Theirs is then the opposite. It's, it takes you back to the golden age of the internet and dial-up. I had 26K speeds. Imagine me uploading a video. I used to, It used to take 10 hours to upload a video to YouTube. I can't believe I did that uh, for so long. Uh, and then all of a sudden, it, it, was, it was rumored. It was talked about uh, for years and years. But up here where I live, there was a grant that was done that would give people that were in high or areas that couldn't get real internet because of phones or whatever, they would have a chance to get fiber, which really is awesome. They finally, this grant was passed and then they put a game plan into place and slowly after many years built out uh, the infrastructure for putting fiber above ground fiber, which is not the greatest. You want fiber underground because when a tree falls, here it happens all the time, your internet goes out. So it's not the best, but when it's working, it's dang good. So about two years ago now, I forget when I did it, but went from shit to roses. Uh, and it's pretty good, but it's expensive. It's $122 a month for this internet. So the fees that people pay me, which is anywhere from a dollar to four dollars a month for either being a Patreon member or YouTube channel member, I put that all together. By the time each place takes their cut, I have enough to pay for the internet, which is wonderful because that's a hundred and twenty-two dollar bill I don't have to worry about. Now, if I didn't have that, I would probably have to seriously say, okay, YouTube um, is fun. And I enjoy doing it, but it's worth $122 a month for me to do this and spend all the time making all these videos and spending a lot of money on the internet. I'd probably have to say no. At that point, I'd say, okay, it's been great. It's been fun, but it's time for me to move on because I could use the money uh, elsewhere in this point in st stage. So uh, I, I thank you very much to all the Patreons. Patreon has now a free tier that lets you just kind of look from the outside, but you don't get to see the any perks or special things on the inside. And then they have the pay tiers, which is anywhere from basically a buck to four bucks. You set whatever they are. Uh, I have it as low as a dollar a month and up to four dollars a month. 
And uh, so Patreon, I'll put the link down below. If you like that and you like what I do, you can sign up through Patreon. And every month you give me a few bucks. That money goes right to my freaking uh, bill for my internet every month. Uh, and same goes for, for YouTube. YouTube, if you click on the join button in any video, uh, you can anywhere from $1 to $4 a pledge or pay a little fee to basically say, hey, thanks, I like what you're doing. I enjoy what you do. So here's a few bucks, have a coffee, or in my case, pay for your internet so you can make more content for us. Uh, maybe one day I can actually have a little extra to pay for, for a coffee or some booze or something. Until that time, thank you very much to all my Patreons that pay every month to say thank you and to my YouTube channel members. Again, any video, you click the join button and you can join that way or go to my Patreon site and select your pledge of choice. Let me read off names because there's a total of, let's see, 28 Patreons and six YouTube channel members. Thank you very much for helping support my channel. <clears throat> We're going to read off the names. Dennis Roberts. <clears throat> I've got a, <clears throat> I got furball. Dennis Roberts, Ian Cross, Wayne No More Continues. Wayne is, by the way, No More Continues. That's part of his name. Uh, David McElroy, James Delgarno, John Tomic, Karsten Lervad, Crisis, Charles Hawes, Robert Mosdell, Dave Gerling, Crimson Jedi. Always love that name. <coughs> Alexander Fassini, Matt Orchard. Vonderlei Cheskin, Dave Carroll, Dusan Seedlo, Eric Lamb, Casey Nidal, Stephen Elliott, Misha, Darius Powers, Jeremiah Stoddard, Charles Dottie, Neil Ward, Mark Slorritz, Krister Gordon, and Bob Boo. Those are my 28 paying Patreons that support the channel every month with a little fee. Thank you very much. As for my YouTube channel members, Jack MF, which is a new one that just popped up the other day. Uh, thank you, Jack MF, for joining. Uh, Black Panther Gaming, Gertzy, the Intellivision Gamer, TV's Hasselhoff, and Casey Nidal. Those are my six YouTube channel members. Thank you to all. Again, right now, I can clearly say all of you are basically uh, helping keeping this station alive because my internet's 122 bucks a month, and without you, I would probably call it a day. <laughs> because I, right now, I'm starting in conserve mode. I've covered this in uh, some other videos, but our insurance provider, State Farm, I'm in California. All the major insurance companies have bailed on California. State Farm being one of the, the last, basically said uh, uh, 72,000 uh, policyholders are being canceled this year because of the high fire dangers. I've got my note from my uh, provider here in town, my agent saying, yes, you are being discontinued. So come September, we're hoping that we can get the one and only plan that's left for us called California Fair Plan. That plan will be about two to three times higher in price with considerably less coverage. Uh, and the, the rumor is that even if you sign up for it and get it, if you have to use it, good luck. <laughs> but it's kind of like one of those stop gaps. You pay for it. Because I've got a loan for this house for, for forever, for the rest of my days. And to have a loan, you have to have insurance on your home. So it's one of those catch-22s. So I'm hoping we can get this California Cal, uh, Fair Plan. It's going to be, I've kind of calculated out about two and a half times the price of what I was paying. Which means that we're now cutting costs in this household. Uh, cutting costs means getting rid of Dish Network. We are no longer going to have TV. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to limp by our nearest TV tower is 70 miles that direction. It comes in kind of. Most of the time, there's a few stations that come in always, but during the summer and during certain weather situations, those channels leave the TV for a while. So you'll be right in the middle of something good and the TV will go out and you'll go, you bastards. Uh, so we've got an antenna, an old antenna on this house. It's a really old house. Well, 1985. Uh, and so we're resorting back to using antenna again. Uh, because that's going to save us 100 bucks a month. We're, we have to uh, cut costs any place we can because our cost for insurance is going to skyrocket. So we're hoping all that works. Anyway, thank you very much to Patreons, to YouTube channel members. 
Again, links down below for Patreon. If you're a YouTube channel member and prefer to go that way, just click the join button in this video right now and then you can choose your choice. And I appreciate your support. What else can we chat about? Uh, so what's keeping me busy? The This. This right now is going to keep me very well occupied for June into July. So if you don't see a video on something that you like, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm doing the best I can. But right now, with the allotted time I have, like I said, I spin around and go, what are we going to make a video for? I've got a half an hour. It needs to be able to be doable in a half an hour. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> so that means that QL that's over there that takes all my brain power, not going to be touched. I need to do something that I can turn on, use, make a video, enjoy, have fun with. And what's next, and you haven't seen a video on this yet, but Casey Nidal, for my birthday, sent me a, an Aquarius game, which I'm making a video for this week. This is a cartridge game that I'm going to play on my old original Aquarius. I need to go find a proper cable for it. Uh, and it's in a box someplace in the back room. Once I find that cable, I can connect everything up. I'm going to make a video hopefully this week on the game, Dungeon Plunder. Um, so if you're an Aquarius lover, Mattel lover, even if you're into, into in television, you got to think Mattel and television kind of go hand in hand. So some of these games made for the Aquarius have a link to in television, but not really <laughs> uh, because the Aquarius is actually a lower power computer in many respects compared to the in television was. But that's next up on my radar. And there's lots of little things that have popped up that I've wanted to chat about lately or make a video about uh, things that are coming in, such and such. But anyway, uh, we're going to end this video with Bigfoot poop. So uh, if you watch my channel, you'll know that my buddy uh, Jay Mundy sent me a, uh, a, a box for my game called Cloud People. The box is back here. He made a one-off special box that I could put my game in. Uh, so very cool. And he also sent me a gift of Bigfoot poop. So I opened it up. We're going to try. So Bigfoot poop is this. It kind of looks like little draw. I mean, believe it or not, if you go see deer poop, this is just bigger, but it, it's got little nuggets and they're brown. Uh, <laughs> it's like baby Ruth in, um, Caddyshack, you want to eat the baby Ruth and they're all disgusted. Anyway, inside this big... So it's almonds with uh, chocolate on it. The almond in there. Sasquatch got good shit. Don't talk with your mouth open. That's what I'm being told right now. So, Oh, look. There's two of them stuck together. Good job, Bigfoot. Sasquatch. So, let me... Uh, when you're talking to people that got manners, they'll do this. But I don't have any manners. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you have a, a great rest of your day. Next up, Aquarius plus... No, just Aquarius, the old one. We're going to try playing that game. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for checking out uh, everything that I do here. Just a little house cleaning. Everything's going fine and hunky-dory. Big list of people that I thanked. I think I covered it all. Thanks. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bigfoot poop. Mmm. Sasquatch got great shit.